We are two crazies from South Africa. That is Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. We, at this moment, doing in nine knots of through wind. We're doing around 6.2, if you look over there. I think my speed lock is again busy getting little animals going on it, so we always have a current pushing us. So Proud Cat is our buddy boat and it's a Lagoon 450. Very well matched with the Leopard 45. Um, we, if we sail, we, we pretty much do the same speed. So when it comes to performance, I think we are well balanced. We are approaching you the Ler Lerun Lerung Lerung Ler Ler oh. I think if I need to pronounce it phonetically it's something like Lerins. But apparently this these two islands is actually four islands. There's a small one behind it but no it's not inhabited. There's one and there is one. And that one had the man with the iron mask. It's an unknown prisoner with a lot of stories behind it. Um, and I found some documentation in in nine what's it? In 2015 which indicates that it might be the brother, the twin brother of the king, King Louis the Ninth or something like that. But yeah, he wore an iron mask. No one knew his name, no one knew his ident identity. But the king did provide a lot of funds to keep this guy fed. And his identity away from people. So, but apparently his jailer, which was his jailer for 34 years on this island, took the money. <laughs> we started our engines. Because it looks like a serious current coming this way, and you can see the guys, the, those guys are on anchor there. That cat and Amano, and they're pointing the opposite direction of the wind. So the current is coming in here and it's making these like rapids. So this is another reason why we started the engine. There's, there's like a bunch of swimmers here, almost looking like they're in a competition or something. They are swimming. And right here is one and a half meters deep according to the charts. Uh, we need to be careful for that too. Not sure what those guys are doing, but it looks like they're snorkeling with the mask on over the boat. <laughs> Maybe a different way of, of looking for fish and then catching fish. See? <laughs> I think he wants to see where's the fish. Because he has full dive gear on. Oh, not, not scuba gear, but like free diver. Look at his fins and everything. And he's hanging over the side to... with his mask on to look for fish. And that's one of the monasteries or one of the fortresses here. We've got the pigs out. But we start to realize we actually forgot it's Sunday. So look at all these boats coming here. <coughs> but look at this side. It is. And, and we've got uh, maybe a too long scope out because we were thinking that we will stay for the night. But just check. And here's a guy coming with a sail in between all these boats at anchor is there is a lot and that's still early and cans have two large marinas managed to get a spot for tipics 
and we are going to explore Okay, so we got some wine and we came out to a bay, actually not a bay, a, a, a channel full of boats. <laughs> we cannot even see Sisu. Sisu is just, just to the right of Pietruna. We are now going to the bigger island but we need to go all around because that side, the anchorage is not going to be good for tonight. So we're going to stay somewhere there. <laughs> and we're going to dingy around the island. The swells is a little bigger on this side. It looks like that a diverse boat. I smell fish. <laughs> that smells good. It smells like a fishy restaurant. So we are put a little anchor out behind the pigs. 
And this is Proud Cat's dinghy. They've also got a little anchor out. And now we're cleating off here. There we go. Ready to go. Yes. And spot out what is happening in this valley. And yes, the restaurant where the nice smells are coming from. There's lots of places here. Yeah. And it's busy. Look at it. All the way down there. And this is the fishy place. Well, there would appear that this would be the place. Oh, here's a place up here as well. Let's look at this. <laughs> I like it. Look at this cute little house here. <laughs> so we were walking and we were looking at just look at that nice house but <laughs> this, <laughs> this guy yeah he just parked in front of his house <laughs> it just looks <laughs> so like okay you call that a boat and this is a boat <laughs> We just lifted anchor, here at Cairns, so Cairns is over there, you can see through the glass and we wanted to go to Cairns today, we were here at the, uh, the little islands uh, which is awesome, the anchorage is not that nice, There's, the scenery is nice but the there's a current and a current push you against the wind and then we just go crazy. But we wanted to go to Cairns and the weather window, we looked at the weather window again, it did not change. Um, we have now a window, maybe we on the tail of the window to get to Saint-Tropez. And we might, might just missed it. Our friends already left for Saint-Tropez because they saw this morning is early this morning, four o'clock, five o'clock, they already left. So we were hoping that we can go to Cairns and visit Cairns and then go to Saint Tropez. But the wind is going to die completely and then the wind will come from that side 100%. We've got all our sails up. So currently we are not reefed and <coughs> we're doing 5.5 and 10 knots of wind. Look at that, that is a clear line of serious, serious wind, so I think we need to get ready and we have our full sail up, so I'm not sure this is advisable, but we are very close into the wind, so I think we can just depower the main and reef if needed be. So we decided to reef because the wind, our apparent wind is picking up every now and then and every now and then the, the true wind speed is also going to 20 so then that one goes to 25. Yeah, so now you can see the wind is it's actually a little bit crazy. We just anchor here next to Kogolin, 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 something like that. It's like 
uh, Saint-Tropez. Th this is the bay of Saint-Tropez and that is the town of Saint-Tropez, that pinkish buildings over there. And yes, Cogelin. It's like a whole village. You can, if you look carefully behind those houses, you will see the mast sticking out there as well. So it's about a village, almost like old water there. Lead the way, Monsieur. Oui, oui, Madame. Okay, so we are going to explore this village uh, next door because we're going to pick up our friends again Ikigai, we are united again <laughs> That's the way to go, you park your little boat in front of your house and then you sit in the boat and you go fishing <laughs> That's a different way of doing it There's a little church here, look at those big boats lying there this black monster. Oh, that must be a little taxi service. Yeah. Look at these monster boats in front of the people's and it's, they're, all the shutters are closed. So I think these are like holiday condos. They close for the winter. And all these big boats are coming too here, eh? Look at those big cats there today. Did you guys see that this regatta is the main thing in the same season? Oh, they're so houses are made of gingerbread. You think they're gingerbread? Yeah, you can eat them. <laughs> oh, but I don't see licorice. <laughs> yeah, that's licorice. That's oh. It's like raw iron, but it's actually... There we go. <laughs> It's those stringy licorices, they're nice. No, we just need to duck. Oh, we don't even need to duck. Yeah, but do I need to lift the engine? Oh, the depth underneath. Oh, sure. Look how pretty this is. There's a lot of places down this little clear. Yeah. Yeah. Like so I think this is nice and central. You can see it's been scraped a couple of times. Mm. So I think now um, we does just anyone know what this place is called? Nah. Oh, well, well, uh, it's a. It's, Jeez, it's look in a marina, this but I, it's a gear old or something. It's like the Venice like marina. Yeah, look so at we can this. do a check in. Oh, look at this. Ah. Grey mode, yeah, mort, like in mort. Hotel Le Souffron. Jean Claude, enough. Give me more! Give us more! <laughs> there we go! <laughs> Thank you! I think so. Also good to be here. Look at a lot of little dinghies around here, so maybe we can... Mm. We're just pumped yeah. up here. Yeah. Yeah. It's not all there. Oh, yeah. oh, the lights have come. And the dogs don't come and sit in the boat. Yeah. 
Okay, so we've arrived at our parking. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> It's so amazing. This means winter are oh yeah. This looks like a real little Italian town with bridges over and just look here. So pretty. Looks like Venice. That one. We are going down here and they even have robots here if you look there. Just look here, nice. And there is Tipex. Walking on 